What is going on everybody? It is Milbro back here with the uh, episode 17 you know seven days to die and I believe we're kind of where I kind of left head before I quit. Uh Okay, this is all unusual. Cause uh I had zombies here overnight and when I logged out they were here. I was thinking this would be making a fun little entry over for the episode, uh You know, because, like, I got, I had some zombies in here, but... Okay, then. They all despawned. Anyways, uh... Get Richard died. Starting off with, uh... 21,999... Dukes. Excuse me there. Uh, just uh, made a couple, uh, well, made a new fire axe. I did uh, some hops planting along with coffee bean planting overnight. Uh, so, I'm actually going to take a, take the stack of dukes with me. And I've just been working on, uh, working along to get, uh, just, uh, like, you know, make coffee and all this. I want to see how much how much it all goes for, so figure you know, like, cause I'm like, I can make coffee just by doing murky water and uh, figure use that as another avenue to sell off stuff. I'm thinking today's episode, since I did the trader run last night, I figured out that, uh, yeah, over here to the west is, uh, let me actually take that off. That's a little airdrop location, but that's the world border. And since I found uh, another uh, winter town, not the biggest thing ever, but uh, I figured it'd be a good idea to uh, go over there and raid for resources for a couple days, make it a make a little trip. Four coffee sells for seventy-two bucks. Yeah, it it'd be kind of nice to do I'd just to have that, you know, just to sell that off for to the trader you for a little bit extra coin. Yeah, I'd make more uh, uh, king size beds uh, if it weren't for the fact that I need uh, that I need more uh, what do you call it? Springs. That's the that's the biggest limiting factor on my on my of uh, on making beds. It's like I know what some people might say is like yo I should really focus on making, uh, you know, upgrading the base to get to steel, and, but I've done some upgrading overnight, but I'm like, I figured, we've hang, we've hung out in the town for long enough, it'd be nice to go and, uh, and do the extra, go do some raiding in the winter biome. I might need a jacket or two, uh, a jacket, you know, to keep myself going, and a better shirt, but. Oh well, I digress. So let me just uh, get get some stuff organized uh, for the trip, and I'll tune in with you uh, once I'm on the uh, on my way back to that town. Once again, on the way out of town, and we had uh, I'm gonna make a quick stop at Trader Bob's to. Uh, do a little bit of selling again for, you know, just to at least uh, make a little bit of coinage on the way to the town. Put on a, I found that I have a, a low level hoodie, it's, it'll do for, uh, keep me warm, it's like, it's all I really, really care about. Oh, there's Marlo. Good to see you, sweetie. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, but, just got kind of as I'm like, if I can get a puffer jacket, that would be excellent. You know, that way I don't freeze to death. I made myself a extra cooking pot and grill for for a campfire in case like I get get really cold and uh, and uh, like all the hypothermia and stuff uh, starts trying to uh, will start to eat away at my food. Made a whole bunch of grilled meat. It's like I made like 25 and I had like an extra 10 in a chest sitting around like. Uh, so, figured, uh, you know, have a good stock of food just to be sure, and 
I also forgot that I had the sniper rifle uh, sitting around uh, with me in the mini bike storage, so I figured, oh, what the heck, we'll take, whoa, hello there. There is a, there is a little a cave there, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to mark that with the cave icon. Means, uh, I know I just drove by a couple, uh, a uh, couple nitrate piles, which are uh, good, but I just want to get through my and stuff to, I want to get to the winter town and start raiding. Uh, I do want to get to, I'm trying to get the, sorry, I have a brain for a year, uh, having, want to get to my, want to get springs from the beds and, because I'm like, it's 20 springs per bed and realizing now just how worth it they are. I'm um, like, I just want to get all the, want to get a whole bunch of springs from them and, and I did merge uh, two wrenches last night to uh, get that taken care of. Rolling up on Trigger Bob now. I'm selling the coffee off, uh, most of it for, I might save like uh, five of them. Pretty load up right now, Trigger Bob. Just oh, doing for a quick God. little visit here. Sell that. We'll just sell the cloth fragments just for a little bit of money. And to do, let's uh, just sell you that whole this whole pile of coffee. Up to level 37 and bartering. S sell you some oil. Definitely keeping those springs though. I made about 500 bucks if I really felt like I could sell the sniper rifle outright for 2300, but don't really feel like doing that. I already checked his trader stock, which uh, which will be restocking on day 19, so yeah, very nice. Anyways, uh, I will meet you guys at the Winter Town. Here we are at the uh, winter town now. Get to finally explore this. Oh, actually, just got a message for Fangs. Uh, those of you, like, you know, who may be watching this and don't know, he's my, uh, he's my uh, buddy that I play Seven Days in the Co-op series with, so he just messaged me. I'll let him know after I'm done recording this episode, but... We've already gotten all the way through Horde Night record. Ooh, little uh, sheer cliff uh, drop off. But yeah, I'm recording this on uh, Easter Sunday. That's one of those I know. Uh, one of those uh, shouldn't be working, but eh, it's no biggie to me. It's ooh chicken. It's one of those uh, I don't mind doing it. This to me, this is a hobby at the moment. I'm like. It's relaxing. I uh, I enjoy doing this. Yeah, well, let me just do a little perimeter drive of the town, and then I'll move in. You get this kind of mapped out for you. All right. Don't question why I don't got pants on. That I had I uh, I started bleeding from a zombie, and I decided to as a quick little resort to scrap my BDU pants. So. Let's not discuss that. But anyways, I've done a drive around the town. There's a couple good things here. You have some bunkers, uh, and also a, uh, what am I trying to say here? There's the, there's this passing gas, which I'm hoping, I, I'm not sure, but it might have the workbench in it, so I might be able to take that for, uh, for future use, uh, I mean, nobody else is gonna be using it. I got my wrench. Got the local uh, population one to tell me uh, what's what. Oh, uh oh, big lumberjack. There we go. Psycho Steve's down. He, he, I don't know why he's not wearing a shirt in this weather, but eh, he's. Uh, I'm not one to question his tactics. If he's warm, then eh, he's warm. 
But yeah, there's also a uh, working stiffs on a popping pill, so there's at least a a uh, what do you call it? A chemistry station in here, so means can at least uh, make the well, make uh, you know, fertilizer faster if I find uh, poop. Oh. Yeah, let me take down all these uh, zombies and and I will be here back with you in just a moment. Finally, I think I've taken out half, like, the population in this town. Come here, Psycho Steve. There we go. Finally. Start looting these zombies, I was like... Like, okay, there's uh, so many zombies, and we just got Nancy left here. Come here. There, there was, like... And, like, I'll have the footage fast-forwarded for you guys, but it's like, oh boy, there was, like, I want to say, like, probably close to ten lumberjacks alone. I'm like, what is with these guys? Uh, oh. You know, <laughs> I'll loot those bodies once they're getting, you know, once the uh, snow dies down. That and... Uh, oh, just Curly, I'm like... I'm like, please, no more lumberjacks. That's all I ask for. Come here, big guy. There you go. Oh my. Uh, I think might be uh, hanging out on the top of the gas station for uh, for the night, you know, just as a temporary little solution. AK-47 schematic. Nice little find the cardboard box. Sometimes those have good uh, good loot. Uh, let's just scrap all that junk down for the leather and and the like. Mini bike tires, a good little set. Let me actually just craft all that animal hide. I did some uh, classic mini bike hunting of animals. There were some pigs and, uh, and deer and all that. Just it's a you know it's a fun little pastime sport. Coal can leave a lot of this stuff in here. I'm not too worried about you know, leave it around. It's like I'll just grab it overnight. Let's see what's in the old bathroom. Um, a turd and some water. More jars. I know I'm taking. I know I want short iron pipes, but. And uh, even the, uh, I want a lot of stuff in here. Sounds like we got another zombie one to discuss with me. Oh, we got Mikey. Good to see you, buddy. Especially after all the, the lumberjacks I've seen. All right, see you later. Let me actually just throw a little bit of this in the uh, mini bike. I made sure to clean out all the uh, storage. And there we go. Go back in. Sounds like we got someone else one to one to talk to me. And they can come in and talk. Our flashlight for selling. Very nice. Very nice. Just wanna make sure I grab all this junk. It's like I'm a little bit of a pack rat, it's uh I'll admit it, it's like I'm one of those, it's like, I can find um, a lot of use for stuff in the game and 
I might not be uh, hidden, staying on top here just to keep myself from going cold. Uh, let's go back down to the pass of gas. There's already a campfire down here anyways. Double bag, what you got for me? Already glasses and some, which basically just iron. And some water. Wonderful. Just have a drink of goldenrod tea, the good stuff. Gotta keep that wellness up. Hey, Springs, how you doing? What do you got in here? I'll just, uh... Oh look, an extra cooking pot. Yeah, we'll just throw all this in, so... Um... Yeah, I just want to make, and then I'll just throw a chest in here, you know, try to keep myself warm despite not having pants on. Um, there's the wooden chest. I at least have something around here. And... There we go. Before I forget anything, because like this is the big reason why I'm here. Let's rinse this down. You can see it gives me a good amount of springs. So even the even the bed uh, gives me a uh, sure iron pipe. So it's like all these iron pipes can uh, do me good for for making uh, king size beds later on. Also give me just raw cotton. Um, okay. Is that nurse still out back? Let's just go check. Oh yeah, you're still around. There we go, put you out of your misery. You've been, uh, you've been on the spikes for too long, so... Feel bad. Um... To actually do one last little raid here before ending it off. I feel the episode's a, a little lacking on the old, uh, on the content here. I at least want to find you guys something and turn on the headlight for you. Just give me a second and I'll find something. Not the working sips though. I said this old burnout house is uh, just good any to uh, raid here, so just take a check real quick. Some cans, toilet, what you got for me? Some more murky water, not too bad. Um, yeah, surprised. Uh, you know, beds for springs. Always want these. Surprisingly, in this town, there's not too much in terms of making, uh, well, getting, you know, like, houses like in my first town. I'm not too disappointed in that. I actually need to take these for, uh, cloth fragments. Can always use more cloth fragments. As I was saying, though, it's like making. You know, not that bad. It's like there's a there's another well bunker. Be sure to raid that before I I'll leave this place. Uh, let's actually take a look in here. What I was saying earlier about steel smithing is I want to make sure I grab all the grab who like it's like I'm saving up levels for uh, the points. Uh, I got 37 points available, it's, which is pretty good, but I want to make sure that I have everything available. I'm actually going to save this, uh, gonna save this building for the for tomorrow. So, you know, when I go up, I go raiding. A little skate park, you don't see those too often. I think you usually see those in hub cities, but yeah, gonna end this episode. <laughs> I gear up. Got made about 500 dukes uh, this episode, so it should be at about 
just uh, just a couple dukes shy of uh, 23,000, no, 22,500 dukes, so. I'm going to end this episode here, and uh, I thank you all so much for watching if you made it to the end, and I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good one.